Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. You smile for the camera. You smile for the camera. Outrageous. You smile. And I smile. And I say. All right. So, hey, you guys. What's going on? Um, so basically let me just get right to it because as y'all know, I had baby Amir on March 20th. He is currently three weeks. So I am here to do a three week update for you guys. Well, technically he turned three weeks on Tuesday. So he's three weeks and two days, but, um, I tried to get this video out to you guys, but like I said, he's still freshly new. So Duty calls, duty calls. You have to stop what you're doing and tend to your baby. So right now he's currently asleep. I'm not sure how long he's going to be asleep. If y'all wondering where he's at, he's in his swing. I got the door right here. He's right there. Um, so that's the reason why y'all don't see him. I don't want to pick him up right now and show you, you guys, um, show you guys how you know big he is as of right now, um, because I'm trying to get through this video. So first thing is first, how has he been doing? Um, so far he's doing awesome um such a a blessing to me and marcus household our family we love him the kids love him baby knight which is our dog he loves him um so he's doing awesome the only thing that i'm noticing as of right now within you know three weeks since i am freshly back new with this even though i have three children already don't come for me but this is still new because you know like i said mj is six so that's the last time i actually had a newborn was six years ago um the only thing that i've noticed with him right now is just trying to get him adjusted to sleeping throughout the night right now me and marcus is currently off both off of work marcus will be going back in the next two or three weeks or so i'm off for another month to enjoy him but right now with us being off of work we've been noticing we both have not really been getting any sleep because he gets up in the middle of the night um more so me i'm more sleep deprived um than marcus and this is no shade to him you guys up. Oh. Here we go. Couldn't focus. This is no shade to him at all. But for me, I'm more sleep deprived because I am currently breastfeeding. Um, the breastfeeding has been going okay. It has been very overwhelming. But at the same time, it's been okay as far as him getting um, the the uh, milk supply i should say he's gaining weight he's having a lot of wet diapers he's pooping so i know that he's getting um my milk and i'm sorry for rocking back and forth but i'm just trying to stay on track here i didn't write any of the stuff that i wanted to talk about on this video so i'm trying to go off of my memory which is i have like short-term memory loss right now laughing but very serious so anyways um yeah i know he's getting his milk um but the overwhelming part of the breastfeeding is you guys know i will be going back to work on may 29th which is next month i want to be able to have a supply built up because my mom will be taking over full time for me of watching him as i you know when i do return back to work she will be keeping him during the day um just to help marcus get some sleep because marcus is still on midnight and then when i get off of work i'll be you know picking him up and things like that so i want to have enough milk at home for her so when she, he needs to eat she can feed him so yeah that's pretty much where the overwhelming part is is trying to get my um pumping schedule down of how i can pump the milk and still breastfeed him and not have to worry about oh my breast is completely empty and i'm not pumping enough milk if that makes sense um the reason why i say it's overwhelming for me right now is because i'm i'm breastfeeding him on demand and what i mean by on demand for some of those that may not know what that means um is when he wakes up he's mm, that's exactly what he does to me every time he's hungry and he's looking for the breast do i have bottles yes i have bottles that i do transfer the milk that i do have for as the milk that i've pumped which is not a lot but the supply that i do have i can thaw that milk out put it in the bottle and give it to marcus so he can feed him um by the bottle um however it's still you know it's just still overwhelming so if anybody have any tips for me that have breastfed breastfed and will be returning back to work please drop that down in the comments below to help me so i can be able to figure out how to get a pumping schedule i've been google i've been on youtube looking at different videos and you know everything 
all suggestions are welcome so if anybody have any tips please let me know um to help me out so that's with that with the breastfeeding um with the not getting any sleep you know that's common when you have a newborn they're freshly out of the womb they're used to being you know coming from being you know balled up in a ball in your stomach now they're in this big old space and it's like hmm of course they're not going to really sleep throughout the night some folks i've heard they had you know the luck of their tr child sleeping throughout the night but right now for me it is eh, my camera i'm sorry my camera is still going in and out i'm not for sure as to why um maybe if i stand still or maybe it's doing it because of the lighting um from the window i'm not for sure but my apologies for that um but try to ignore it <laughs> anyways um i know some people have said that their child has been sleeping throughout the night and I know um, with MJ, I didn't have too much of a problem with him sleeping throughout the night. However, because I am breastfeeding, I believe that, um, you know, I I have to get up in the middle of the night and feed him. With MJ, I had to stop breastfeeding him at about two months, I want to say, because of his suction. he It was just too painful for me. He kept... Um, it kept bruising my nipple and every time I tried to latch him it hurt when I pumped it it just it was just it didn't work out so I had to switch the formula with MJ at two months and I did always say if I ever had another child that I would definitely try my hardest to breastfeed so right now it's going okay um with baby Amir um so that's the reason why you know I'm not getting any sleep at night because he gets up and he eats um, like, for example, last night he got up five times, 1.30, 3, 3.30, 4, and 5.30. So, it's, you know, just trying to find balance. But right now, um, I really can't find any balance, if that makes sense. Because, I mean, he's freshly new and he has to eat. So, trying to figure out, you know, what works for him right now is just maybe not such a good idea. Maybe I should just give it some more time. I'm not for sure. But, um, like I said, this is all new for me, again, six years later okay um that's that with the breastfeeding let's move along here so what else um as far as postpartum wise and he's currently waking up so give me one second okay guys so we're back so i'm gonna try to get through as quickly as i can because i believe he's going to be looking for the boob <laughs> so like I was saying, um, as far as with the breastfeeding, that's going pretty much okay. Um, just drop the tips down below if you have any other suggestions that will help me as far as how to pump um, in between feedings and things like that. Um, definitely let me know. Um, as far as postpartum, um, I was 249 pounds when I gave birth to him. And when I got back on the scale about two days ago, I was at 223. So I did lose um, some weight. My goal is to get down to about 180, 170. Um, this is what my goal is. So right now I am currently, you know, making sure that I'm breastfeeding him and it's helping me to watch what I eat because I'm worried about anything that's going through my milk that's going to him. So I've been drinking lots and lots and lots of water. Um, I go through cases of 24 packs of water like crazy ice mountain is the, the brand that i you know been drinking lately so i've been doing that i've also been making sure that i've watched um what i eat as far as nothing spicy or anything like that so i will show you guys what i currently have him right now because he woke up so i will show y'all what my okay but but i will show y'all what my stomach looks like but right now <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to do that um, as I have him now in my arms, so that mama butt butt. That that mama butt butt. Say hi, peoples. Yeah. Mm, give me one second. Let me get him settled. Okay, so um, basically, I will show you guys what my stomach is looking like. It's still pretty much swollen where. You know, I'm not too much worried because I know it's going to go down. It's just going to take time. Like I said, my baby is only three weeks old. Don't mind me. I have to settle him. <laughs> so, um, that's pretty much that as far as what's been up with me. 
and what's going on with baby Amir. Um, as last doctor's visit that we went to, he had gained his weight back. Um, I've heard that with breastfed babies that you tend, they tend to lose a little bit like five or 10% of their birth weight once they leave. It did happen to him, but he ended up gaining his weight back. So, um, as I said before, he was 9-1 at birth when we got to the hospital, um, in his doctor's office, he was like 8-6, I believe. And then that same day, my milk finally came in and I was just threw him on the boobie on both boobs to be exact. Um. And then when we ended up going back for another weight check, so he actually had two visits. One, um, the day that we left the hospital, the, I mean, well, the day after when we left the hospital, and then we went back for his actual one week. So when he got checked up, he had actually gained nine pounds back and seven ounces. So he is gaining his weight, and as y'all can see, he is not no skinny baby. So I know that he's getting his milk, as I said, from his wet diapers and things like that. Um, but that's pretty much, you know, what's going on with him. His umbilical cord, the little stub, eventually did fall off, uh, which is good. Um, he didn't have no issues or anything like that with that. And he's currently just a joy to have. So that's pretty much. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> And we're trying this pacifier thing out to help him out. We're, we're definitely trying this. But but that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. So that's for the three weeks checkup. Um, hopefully I can get around to doing another video uh, where he's been asleep a little bit more so I can actually talk to you guys. But if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions that I didn't you know, maybe I didn't cover in this quick little video as far as a three-week update regarding baby Amir Judah Thomas. Um, definitely ask me down in the comments below. I will definitely try to respond back. I know I have not been really too good of responding back to you guys' comments because I've been so busy. My apologies for that. But I will definitely try to respond back if you, yep, he's looking for the booty, if you have any questions. So, that's it for us, you guys. Talk to you soon.